In January, 67-year-old Maureen Hunter was diagnosed with esophageal cancer. It soon spread to her liver and lungs and by the end of February she was told by doctors that it was terminal. Uh, I had a little bit of a relapse last Thursday, first time. I let it all out. <laughs> then I'll kick myself up the bum. <laughs> Come on, get on with it. You know, I'm like, that's my attitude. Be thankful for, for what you've had um, and been given. And, you know, it's unfortunate it's life. No, I'm not the only one affected by cancer. Even little children are. You've got to be thankful for what you have had. And uh, at least we've become grandparents and great-grandparents. And that's how we look at it. There's little babies out there that don't even get the chance to grow up. Mm. And that is our view. Although it's still heartbreaking. <laughs> Nobody wants to go, do they? So, you know, my family as well. You know, I don't want to leave them. They don't want me to leave them. So, yeah, it's very heart-wrenching. But you've got to stay strong. Um, it's an awful thing for to to be told by a specialist that she's not going to live. Um, but they gave me four months in me initially. Initially, they only gave her four months, and uh, it was a shock, you know. Um, I'm just glad that she's fighting it and fighting it and fighting it. Since her diagnosis, Maureen wants to fulfil her lifelong dream. Um, this GoFunding page that I've sorted, um, started off, it was done reluctantly. My friend, another friend, um, not Lynn, but another friend, she said to me, why don't you go on this GoFunding page to, to, to get your dream to come true? Because I've always wanted to go to Italy. A great-grandfather of mine was born there. I've got circus family from that era, um, hence why I'm... That's and why you want, in to go. you want to put me on one of them stupid things, don't you? <laughs> That's why I like, I suppose, entertainment, because my circus side was my father's side. My mother used to do pantomime, so it's in me blood. Um, but I'd love to go to Italy, uh, not just because my great-grandfather was there, but I'd like to find some history. You know, if I could find some history, maybe, on the circus family that was there, I, I would love that. The fundraising page launched at the end of May, and since then, donations have come from friends, family and strangers. Maureen says it was thanks to another friend who spurred on the campaign. If it wasn't for my friend Lynn Beaven, a lot of these uh, donations wouldn't have happened. She's really started the ball rolling, she's pushed the boat out, she's got in touch with some one-stop shops, um, they're putting donation boxes on their counters, one of them ones, the one-stop shop at Harnham, on the 12th of August, are doing a book and cake sale to try and get donations for me. Um, Lynn has really pushed the boat out. She went to a, a friend's birthday party in the social club at Tidworth, where she lives. And she, she, she said she was, I've got a whole of messages. She said she was cheeky and took a collection box and made every, went, went and asked everybody, would you please put, you know, explain to them as to why she was asking for help because of my dream of going to Italy. Her husband Robert suffers with Alzheimer's, which means that together they say the cost of insurance to cover themselves for a trip to Italy would be more than they can afford. I am in absolute amazement and so, grati so gra grateful to everyone that's donated so far. Um, it, it's just unbelievable. Uh, they are making my dream come true. I'm going to cheer up now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Did make it happen? Yeah, I think I'll cry. <laughs> mm. yeah. Both Robert and Maureen Hunter have a love of singing, which over the years they've combined with charity work. Maureen still continues to fundraise and run a singing group despite her situation. Um, I've always been somebody that's. A bit, I would help somebody else, even if I couldn't really afford to, I'd give my last, you know, ten bob if you like. Um, but yeah, it's always been my nature. I've always put other people before myself, even now I do, don't I? Um, it's mm -hmm. just just me. Um, and they say, you know, a lot of people say I'm an uh, um, inspiration, but I don't feel I am, I'm just more <laughs> uh, um, I've just been how I've always been all my life. So. Mm -hmm. No different. Just because I've got cancer, I'm not going to change. <laughs> She'll finish her last session of chemotherapy next week before going on a three-month break. With the hopes that the cancer doesn't become more aggressive in that time, Maureen has started planning her trip to Italy. Cara Digby, That's TV.